I pride myself on making stories within each one of my posters to put in little tidbits, little messages, the, the fighting or the mm-hmm. <laughs> I run a small design firm called Rockets Are Red, and I create concert posters, merchandise, and packaging. I initially got into graphic design because I felt that if I wanted to make money, I needed to do something besides painting canvases pink. So I started uh, reaching out to bands and I would say, hey, would you like me to do some posters for you? And they somehow fell for my evil scheme. It was great because I got to go to the show for free and they would hire me to do these things. I wanted to be doing work that was kooky and crazy and punk and dirty and confrontational. I think some of the more famous ones are Gaslight Anthem. In bands like Against Me, they talk about everyday experiences in a way that just kick you right in the gut. I use colors, I use composition, type, to create a story. It reaches another level of emotion that people can connect with. When the quarantine hit, it affected me very closely. On top of running Rockets Are Red, I work at the National Institutes of Health. I started working at home full time. And the work that I was doing for NIH was very mentally taxing because it was a lot of information about a lot of unpleasant things. Everything is heavy. Concerts have stopped, bands have stopped touring, I wanted to stay creative, I wanted to stay limber, and I wanted to keep myself excited about art and design. So I started doing daily portrait exercises, and I noticed that people were connecting with it. They liked seeing actors or musicians or whomever that they loved that I too also loved. After 30 days, I had 30 portraits, and I decided to sell them for a very limited time with all the money going to charity to help my community. One of my favorite ones is you, David, from Schitt's Creek. That show just makes me feel good inside. Tom Petty, every song, classic song. Iggy Pop, longevity. He is my father's age and he still crowd surfs. All of the Beastie Boys. MCA is a personal favorite of mine. God rest his soul. Dr. Fauci is a person I'd see trying to be a calming presence for the American public. And to me, he is as big of a rock star as anybody else I drew. I don't want to see that white flag waving. This is to the bitter end. These became a source of joy for me, and I felt like, especially now, we need that. Along with the portraits, I started a series called Solo Projects, which for me were longer, more in-depth, more story intense, ways to communicate as a isolated artist, but really there's a whole world watching what you're doing. People are coming together in a quieter way, sharing the emotions and the trials of isolation. We're all alone together. It's a continuation down a path that a lot of people over the years have taken with me, and I feel an obligation to them to continue. Cause this is what I live for.